title fight between Anderson the Spider Silva and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of deeds because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is 31, Silva is 45. Adesanya is two inches tall. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight Champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider-Man! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Two names you recognize, Anderson Silva versus Israel Adesanya. You wonder how this matchup might have gone down if both men were in their fighting primes. Silva still believes he can get his hand raised tonight. Anderson Silva is not going to be short on confidence because he understands 
the fighting style of Israel Adesanya because Adesanya has openly said that he has based it on Anderson. If he wants to look into a mirror, he will see the last style bender. If anybody knows how to fight it, it's Anderson Silva. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Over and over, landed a big body kick. with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. Israel Adesanya's shot is blocked. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Keep it busy here off of his... He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. able to work his way back to his feet. Israel Adesanya going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. He's timing the hook. He's timing the hook. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch land over the top. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Adesanya. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Nice leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a... Opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got a good bad. So 41 total strikes have landed for Anderson the Spider Silva. And landing with 76% accuracy here against Israel Adesanya. Looks like his leg is hurt here, hurting a little bit. A good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active. Keep it busy, doing great work.
Just over two minutes to go. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps winning. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, you heard him bad with the jab. Israel Asanya gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, leg kick. Stats in that department. Don't pile under his leg kick. He's just as a little bit trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the direction of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. All right, half guard for him here and a lot of off the noise attack. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both sides have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he, he can follow it up. Oh, the thunderous legs. He lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. 79 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. And landing with 83% accuracy, at least thus far here, against Israel Adesanya. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Adesanya. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round number three. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of... Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Exactly just 
just like that. Just like that last round. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep with that footwork. That footwork is... All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched well. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at 38 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Well, his smile lights up the room, and his performance lit up this arena tonight. Congratulations to the wildly popular Anderson Silva. No matter where we go in the world, Silva about as beloved and respected as it gets, and you've got to think he still enjoys a win of this magnitude.